So here's how to have world-class meetings. As an EOS implementer, I teach every one of my clients something we call a level 10 meeting. We call it level 10 because every business owner that's ever interacted with EOS gets asked to rate the effectiveness of their meetings on a scale of one to 10, where one is basically shit, that's a technical term, and 10 is awesome. And on average, they rate it a four. Not surprising, really, is it? So if you're normal, the effectiveness of your meetings is somewhere around about a four. Here's how you get it to a level 10. As I show you the level 10 meeting, I want to share a couple of things. The reason it's so effective and world class is that really it's, it's a time management tool. So you and your leadership team coming together for the precious 90 minutes every week that I'm going to show you will save you a bucket load of time. You're literally going to save two to three times the amount of time that you invest in the level 10 meeting. And you do this by avoiding train wrecks, the left hand knows what the right hand is doing, miscommunications being avoided, and more importantly, you're being more effective and more accountable. With that said, a great meeting pulse needs to have five key points. A great meeting needs to be on the same day, at the same time, with the same agenda. It needs to start on time and it needs to end on time. So using Gino's own words, I'm now gonna show you the psychology, the philosophy, and the flow of the perfect level 10 meeting. The first step, as I said, to level 10 is starting on time. Vince Lombardi said that early is on time, on time is late. So if your meeting is at 9 a.m. on a Friday, then you and your leadership team need to be in the board or meeting room at 8.55, small talking and ready to get started. Whoever runs the meeting, generally your integrator, at 9 a.m. on the nose says, okay, everyone, good news. And that's how you're gonna start your meeting off, with good news. So what good news is, it's a segue. It actually helps the leadership team go from working in the business all week to working on the business. It also brings in a real human element. You know, we're all humans. We want to work with other humans. And so by sharing both professional and personal news, you're bringing that human element into the meeting. When I mention the psychology, the philosophy and the flow, a huge part of that psychology is just the human element that you actually bring to this meeting. So good news takes about five minutes, pretty rapid fire around the table, your personal and professional news. After good news, you then go into reporting mode. So the next three agenda items are all about reporting. The psychology behind this is you're now getting into the mode where you're ensuring everything that's important in the business is on track. You're making sure your numbers are on track, your priorities on track, and all your people are happy. Here's what I mean. You're gonna first review your scorecard to make sure that all the scorecard numbers are on track. And that's just a really quick five minutes. Are you on track, are you off track? You're then gonna do a rock review. And again, it's a really quick five minutes. You're just reviewing to make sure that every rock you set for the quarter is on track all of your priorities. And then you're gonna share any customer or employee headlines. With this, you're sharing both good news and bad news about customers or employees, and it's just one sentence headlines, so that you're all in the know about what's going on with all of your people. With that said, we're still in reporting mode. So any number that's off track, any rock that's off track, or any customer employee headline that requires discussion or is an issue that needs to be solved, drops down to the issues list. We simply drop it down, drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. During this reporting mode, there's no discussion. You're not here to solve anything right now, you're just reporting. So you've got 15 minutes for reporting, five minutes per area, and you're just reporting the issues, which we'll come back to shortly. Once you've done reporting, you've extracted all the relevant issues, we then bring a little accountability into your life with a to-do list. Now this is really, really important. This is not your average to-do list. This to-do list is actually put right into the center of this level 10 agenda, and it's a dynamic document. It's, a t it's a, an agenda that you're actually managing as a leadership team, where your to-dos are going on, coming off, going on, coming off every week. And your issues are going on, coming off every week. It's a really dynamic, very relevant document. With that said, five minutes reviewing all of last week's to-dos, just to make sure they're being done. And the rule of thumb is that 90% of your to-dos should be coming off your list every week. If they're not, there's a problem. Typically an, account typically an accountability problem. Nevertheless, 90% should be done. So from here, we then go to the portion of the level 10 meeting, which is called IDS. IDS is the issue solving track that we teach every single EOS client. The IDS stands for I, identify, D, discuss, and S, solve. When you go to your issues list, you populate all the issues list for the week. 
And then you start to prioritize what is the most important. So number one is the most important, then number two, number three. You always pick the top three most important issues. You never start at the top and work your way down. It's important that you identify number one um, as the, top, the most important issue and you start to identify what the real issue is here. So you take number one, you identify what the real issue is and it's vital that you all agree, here's the issue that we have. Sometimes you have to dig and dig and dig to get to the real issue. Nevertheless, you have to get this done before you start to discuss it. When you move to discuss, that's when you and your team openly and honestly discuss the issue. Every option, every solution, every opportunity, every idea, and then we push to solve it. The only reason you're talking in this portion is to solve issues. So you take number one, you IDS it. Once it's solved, that issue comes off the list, again, a dynamic document, and typically a to-do or two are created that needs to get on the next seven days. So to-dos are always seven-day action items. We then move to number two and we IDS it. When issue two is solved, it becomes a to-do or two, and then it's on to three, IDS. Some weeks you're only gonna get through one issue and some weeks you'll get through 10. You never really know, but as long as you're taking them in order of priority, what's the most important in your business, you know you're doing the right thing. And with that said, you have a full 60 minutes for IDSing, so use that time. Once there are only five minutes left in the meeting, you then conclude the meeting. In the conclusion, wherever you are in IDSing, you conclude the meeting. So at 10.25 a.m., you have five minutes left, you do three quick things. You recap the to-do list, you discuss if there are any cascading measures that need to be cascaded down to the rest of the organization, and you quickly rate your meeting one to 10. How did you do today? 10 being the best. This rating of one to 10 will help you and your team to self-correct to be getting an eight minimum. So eight is without a doubt the minimum standard. If it's not an eight, you simply get to ask why and you start to self-correct. At 10.30 a.m. on the dot, the meeting ends on time, so your meetings aren't collapsing on top of each other and so you can get on with the rest of your day, back to the real world. And that's how you have a world-class level 10, 90 minute meeting with your leadership team. I honestly can't tell you what a difference this tool has made to my clients. They absolutely rave about it. Check it out on their testimonials. But as with everything, it does take time to get the most benefit. The great thing about the EOS tools are though that they actually start working immediately. So if you'd like to learn more about this tool or other EOS tools, or even the full entrepreneurial operating system, please contact me for a chat and let's see if there's a fit for your business.